hello guys how are you i'm sorry it's been a long time since the last video in this tutorial video i will explain the stairs in 3d max there's four type of basic stairs so those are the four types the first one which is the straight stair the second one which is the u shape and l shape we have the third one and spiral stair so in this tutorial course i will explain the straight stair and the railing also how we're gonna make it so let's start a new file so at the beginning we gotta be sure from the units so we'll go to customize unit setup then system unit setup and i will choose meters so okay okay the way of making stairs I will go at the beginning from here from this part then I have to choose stairs so to make stairs those are the four basic stairs in 3d max so in this lecture I will explain only the straight stair to make it easy for you so let's start with the straight stair I will click up on the straight stair by three clicks to make the stair so first click Second click, third click. So now we are making the stair, which is this one. So I will choose another color for it. I will make it white. I will go to modify to check up the parameters for the stair. So at the beginning, I'll make it closed stair, or let's keep it keep it open stair I will increase I will decrease the width so I'll make it one meter so as you can see here now the width is one meter on the razor height which is the height of the razor so I'll make it 0.2 and Here, how many steps you want? So let's choose 20. After making this one 0.2, you have to click here on the second one to close it. Then from here, just decrease the height of the stair. So let's make three meters. Now, it's telling me. For three meters, you have 15 steps. So we finish the rise. So we'll go to the layout. We have the length. So this is the length for the stair, as you can see. So it's depend upon the area that I have. So I will choose, for example, four meters. And the width, I'll keep it one meter, as I said, because this is the width for the stair. So one meter. Is perfect now this st straight stair it has a types three types so closed stair which is this shape open one and also we have the box which is like this with concrete so I, I, I would prefer the open one now I will decrease this one sorry the thickness if I make it like this so it will become more beauty so I'll keep it all point one just like this now if I want to make a railing for the stair I will rail path here go to generate geometry rail path and check left and right so as you can see here now I have left line and right line so I will go to railing I will select it then I will go to sorry I will go to the parameters of the stair I will go to railings then I have to be sure that the height and the offset are zero if they are not zero for example the offset is more than zero so it will become like this even the height so keep them both zero now how are we gonna make railing, railings for the stair? 
so it's an easy way we will go to create the first one we will go to AEC which is this one AEC extended we will click on the railing then we will click on big railing path so we will select this one as you can see I got it because I did it before but now I will explain the parameters for this railing so let's select it let's go to modify here it means the segments so if I have a spiral stair I have to make the segments more so about 50 or 80 but now I have a straight stair so I don't need segments so I'll keep them zero here top rail top rail so either I choose it rounded or square so if square as you can see here now it's square I prefer rounded every time and here is the depth and width and the height for it so the height always you keep it see because whenever I increase the height it's increase up the height for everything so I choose one meter here are the width and the depth because I'm working with meters so I choose 0.05 it means 5 centimeters for the radius of this one so if I increase it I make it 0.1 as you can see here now and this one 0.1 also so I got this one as you can see now I have another thing which is lower rail so I will choose rounded or square as you can see here which is those three so I will choose rounded sorry this one lower rail and here the depth and the width so there is a question now how can I increase the number of those now they are three so how can I make it four or five or six so by clicking here over this bottom then I will there are three I will make them five just click anywhere then close as you can see they are now five now we have another thing which is the posts so the post which is they are so either rounded or square so now they are squares which is the first one third one and the last one so I'll make them rounded and as every time we are saying 0.5 for the depth and width it means the radius for it because I choose rounded and also I could increase the number of them by clicking over this button and give it another number for example let's make them two one in the beginning and one in the end so now I have only two now I have another thing which is the fencing so I will choose rounded shape for it not square it's depend up, up on your design so you could choose square so for now I will choose rounded I will give it the depth and the width so I will choose 0 0.1 it means 10 centim and this one also 0.1 so as you can see here now I have one so how can I increase the number of it by clicking over this button so I'll make them four then close so as you can see here so but by the way I did this 0.5 and this one 0.1 so either I make this 0.1 or this 0.5 so I will make this one sorry this one 0.1 and this one also to make it looks more beautiful now let's go to the this one so now we want to make another railing for this side so we just have to copy it so as you can see here before copying I will make it down a little bit so now I will copy it to this side
now I have my own stair. So as you can see here, now I have the stair. So this is my stair. Next lecture, I will explain the L shape, U shape, and spiral stair. And also, we are we will in the final result when we're gonna use V ray, we will get a stair like this one, and also like this one. And we will use a plugin for the stairs, so we could design any stair by lines by AutoCAD two D lines. Then we could make it like this, so like the stair or any other stairs. So we could do a perfect stairs with those details by the plugin. So I will explain the plugin and also I will upload the plugin for you. So I wish you get benefit from this lecture and subscribe for more videos. By the way, every week I'm gonna make a new video. So good.